We've now attracted the finest estates in South Africa to this auction platform. Um, and this uh, auction is Deterrent Private Cellar, it's Mealist Estate and it's Mullineux. Three incredible properties in South Africa. And we're now offering uh, the collector, the, the consumer, the investor, the opportunity to purchase vintage wines from these top estates. And very importantly, we're selling mostly uh, wines that's been curated from the producer's sellers, but also here and there very carefully collect, uh, uh, selected lots from private collectors as well. Uh, so all of this has got our, our sort of stamp of approval for being in a fantastic condition for drinking. That's right, and we've been very lucky, uh, Hego, to taste many of the lots over the last few weeks. And uh, three different styles of wines, you know, more classic uh, Mealist uh, estate, where the wines tend to be a little bit more French in style, a little bit more elegant, um, earthy, savory. Uh, Deturin, much richer, rounder, bigger wines. And then Mullineux, a little bit more cutting edge, new wave, uh, more Rhone-like, more French-like perhaps. So a nice balance of three properties. Yeah, absolutely. There's something for everybody there. There's some great white wines from Mullineux on sale. Some fantastic sweets as well from Malini. Is that your, your preferred lot of the auction? I'd say personal taste-wise, I really like the classic styles, the elegance from, uh, from Mealist. There's a, there's a whole vertical of, of Rubicon on sale, 2004 up to 2017. If you can do the maths, that doesn't quite add up to 12 uh, bottles because we've left out the vintages that hasn't been released by Mealist and also the ones that we weren't happy with. So it's a curated vertical of the best Rubicons from 04 to 17. And it's just, uh, it's a great opportunity because those who know Mealist would know that these wines don't change that much. They've only had three winemakers for the past four decades or something. So the, the, the style is very consistent and you're really able to then taste the vintage difference amongst the wines. And that's, that's a great collective piece there. Oh, we tasted the 09 Rubicon and that's just still a baby, isn't it? Uh, 12 mm. years old. So much life. It's gonna go, it's gonna go for, for a while. Uh, one of my favorite lots that we tasted was the 09 uh, from the Turin, the, uh, the reserve, the director's, director's reserve. And that's a extremely powerful tannic wine that is so youthful. Yeah. I think it's got decades of life in it and that's gonna be really one of the top lots. Yeah, there's uh, so much concentration in that wine. It's still busy unpacking. Um, and the thing about the director's reserve is there's only, they, they do it in the best vintages. So this is the reserve selection of barrels of the iconic Fusion 5, right? So um, in the best years, I think there's only been four and we're selling a collection of those four in a different lot. But the 09 for me is also the standout. And, and a bit of an inside scoop really, this is uh, the precursor to the Book 17. They didn't make the Book 17 in, in 2009. Oh, yes. And this it could be a mini Book 17 really, the Director's Reserve. Sure. Um, but I'm more excited about the Olerise uh, number two lot, which uh, was only released last year onto the secondary market. But because it got the magical 100 points from Neil Martin, who's arguably the greatest taster um, in the world today. Most influential uh, critic. One most say, influential, yeah. but a very good palate as yeah, well, uh, or the best palate. And uh, I'm very interested to see what that's gonna, gonna sell for. Yeah, the interesting there, you say it's only been released last year, but it's already a, a rare item. So we don't sell things on the, on the auction. I think that portrays with the sort of rarity of these sort of items that we're standing with. Uh, we don't sell things that are still commercially available, but this wine immediately, basically after the release, has been uh, a scarce item. Indeed, it's, uh, it's certainly not available in the market and now will be on auction. Uh, they are coming in, in small bottles and they're only released every few years out of this Solera system, which is an interesting way of making sweet wine, but a dazzling sweet wine. I think you've also tried it, uh, something mm. that lingers on your palate for literally minutes yeah. and uh, great to drink, but also exciting to see what it, uh, what it sells for. Malini, of course, does three different sweet wines, but the Loretta, you would say, is sort of the top of the, of the range. All three of them straw wines, uh, but this is the, the Solera system, so like a real great. Eat. Well, virtual live sale on the 11th of April. We're looking forward to it and we'll see you there.